Hello guys, Josh here from Atomic Cards, we have another Pokemon Master Set video for you, and today I have got the latest set that has come out from Pokemon, I have got the Scarlet and Violet base set. With Paldea Evolve coming out on Friday, I thought we'd show you this and get you all excited for that set, and see how far you've gotten along with your Scarlet and Violet set guys, have you completed it? How far away are you or are you just picking out a few cards that you really like? Do let me know in the comments down below. But for Scarlet and Violet, we've got this nice Vault X limited edition Scarlet and Violet folder. As you can see on spine, it's got the SV1 and it has got the colours of the set. So it is purple and it is on the inside nice and red. So we've got Scarlet and we've got Violet. And the first thing you will notice when we look here at the new cards is the silver borders on them so you will have seen our crown zenith master set that we did a week ago that was the last sword and shield set this is then the first scarlet and violet set so you can really see a difference on the cards the silver borders different patterns on the reverse hollows as well some of the cards are in a different kind of style they've moved a few things around and then of course we have the names at the bottom rather than the symbols so these cards say sv1 rather than having a nice little symbol or logo down there so this is the first page of the binder as you can see as with most of my sets i've gone normal reverse normal reverse normal reverse normal reverse all the way through when we do get variants or exclusive cards i will then pop them in in the places that they go and hope it doesn't mess up the uh, the nice pattern that we have on this page so on the first page, we've got Pineco and Heracross, Shroomish and Breloom, Cacnea and Cacturn. Yeah, fold over onto the second page. And here we have got Tropius, Scatterbug, Speeper, Vervillion, Skidoo and Go-Goat. Sprigatito comes next. And this is the first Pokemon we have got with an exclusive variant card. So this Sprigatito came out of the preview boxes where you would have got a promo card for each of the starters and then two hollow versions as well for um, for the other two starters. So you need to get all three boxes to get all three of these. So that's your Sprigatito one. Obviously there'll be Quaxley and for Coco later as well. Then you've got Florigato, Meow Scrada. We then go on to the new normal Pokemon. So Tarantula, you will see, has got three different cards. So when they do a new set, they like to give us lots of cards for the new Pokemon to um, let us know that it's a new set and to try and build us up with these new Pokemon. There's that reverse for Tarantula. You've then got Spidops EX. So the EX cards are the new V cards. EX was around quite a few years ago and has now brought it back. So it's the little writing EX, not the um, capital letters EX. So these EX cards do have to evolve. So the spit ups will evolve from the town to Lever. And I've put these ones into sleeves. So most of my normal cards I don't put into sleeves. I only put my uh, my really rare cards, stuff I think is going to have a bit of value to it. Um, so all my EX cards are going to be sleeves. And of course I've chosen red so it matches up against the back of the folder. So that's your Spidops EX. Smoliv again, another Pokemon that's got a couple of cards. Doliv and Arbeliever. Toad School, who is definitely not Tentacool. He is a different Pokemon, completely different. He's not a variant, so he's not like a Paldean variant of a different Pokemon. He is his own Toad School. Same with Toad Scroll. That reverse hollow there was the last one that I got, which I got from a trade night in our shop at Atomic. So that was the last one that I needed for the reverse hollows. Then you've got Kid, again, a couple of him, and then Scovelin down there. Growlithe is our first fire type. I do like Growlithe, so I'm very happy to see him coming back in Scarlet and Violet. Second Growlithe, and then an Arcanine. Now this is the first of our terrestrialized EX cards. So this one, you can see his little crown up there, and that's the mechanic that they use really well in the Scarlet and Violet video game. Now I'm quite interested to see how they're going to do it when they do different types. So Arcanine is a fire type and he's got a fire type crown. Obviously in the game you can get different type crowns. And in August there's going to be the Obsidian Flame set. Which is going to feature a Charizard with a dark type crown. 
So I'm going to be quite interested to see how they, you know, make those mechanics work in the TCG and what the cards look like as well. It's going to be very exciting. We've then got Houndor, Houndoom, Torkoal, and then our next exclusive variant, which is for Coco, and that is the Hollow for Coco in the middle there, next to the normal one and the reverse. Then we've got Quackalor, Skelleridge, Charcadet, again another new Pokemon, so we've got a couple of cards for him, and Armourouge down there. Slowpoke is the first water type. Then we've got Slowbro, one of my favourite Hollow cards in this set. Magikarp, and then our second terrestrialized, which is Gyarados. So these terrestrialized ones are um, are textured as well, so they do look a little bit better than your normal EXs, and they are a little bit stronger as well for when you're playing the game. But they just evolve from the normal Pokémon, so Magikarp evolves into Gyarados. We then got Buizel, Floatzel, Alomalola, Clauncher, Clauter, Buxish. And then Quaxley, our final variant there of Quaxley, the final one from those um, from those preview boxes. Now Quaxley for Coco and Sprigatito are going to feature heavily in Paldea Evolved as well. So them and their evolution lines are all going to get uh, Illustrator Rare cards. So that's really cool, something I'm very much looking forward to with the Paldea Evolved set. We then got Quaxwell here and Quackavow. Now Quackavow is normally a hollow card so as you know with scarlet and violet packs you only get hollow rares there is no non-hollow rares in packs but in the build and battle boxes there was some non-hollow rares so quackaval is one of those that came out of a build and battle box and that is why that is in here as it's still a card from the set so pop that in there next to that quackaval and then we'll have the reverse hollow over there then got a couple of wiglets and a wog trio so toddle Again, a couple of Stoddles, Titan, Don Dozo here. Again, Don Dozo has a non-hollow from the uh, Build and Battle boxes, pre-release boxes. So that is in there with those. And Tatsuguri there finishes our water types. Magnemite and Magneton are the first electric types. And then we've got Magnezone EX here. Quite a cool looking EX card, I think. Really nice. Marie. Flaffy, so no Ampharos. The Ampharos EX was taken out to put into a battle deck. So that's where you need to go if you want to get the Ampharos EX. He's in those those decks. There's Pachirisu, Rotom, and then three Rotoms here. So you will have noticed with the Quaxley, Sprigatito, and for Coco Hollow cards, that they were same, same Hollow as a normal card. They were just that plain kind of Hollow this Rotom down here has got the Cosmo Hollow. So you can see in the borders there and on the Pokemon, it's got those nice little dots. It's the Cosmo or Galaxy Hollow. And that's because that Rotom came from a box. So that Rotom has came out of the, what was it, the Cyclozar box? Yes, Cyclozar, the uh, Cyclozar EX box that we've got. That's where that one came from. So that is another variant that I've popped in there. We then got Toxel, Toxtricity, Poor Me, Poor Me again, Poor Mo, and Poor Mot. Poor Mot has a, a non-hollow that came out of a build and battle box as well. Wattrel is another new Pokemon, so we're going to have a couple of him. Wattrel, Wattrel, Killer Wattrel, and Maridon. So Maridon has also got a non-hollow. And that Maridon didn't come from the build and battle boxes. That one did actually come out of that Ampharos EX deck. So there is a lot of variants um, kind of scattered all over the place that you're going to need if you want to do your master set. I know a lot of people don't do the master set, just do their set. So would completely skip out that guy, which, you know, it doesn't need to be in there really. It doesn't add that much. But for me, I like to have him in there. We've then got the Maridon EX down here. Very playable at the moment. Very strong in a good deck. Then got Drowsy, Hypno, Routes, Curlia, and the Gardevoir EX. Shuppet and Bennett EX. Drifloon, Driftblim, Flababy, Floet, Flogress, 
couple of the Dene cards, a Klefki, and lots of Fidos. So four Fidos, but two different types but with the reverse hollows. A Dash Burn, Flittle gets three different types of card. Reverse hollow for the last one. Espatra, Grievard, and another Grievard. And again, there's another hollow there. That is the hollow that came out of the Mimikyu EX box. And that one is a, is that a Cosmo hollow as well? Or is that just a normal hollow? So that is a normal hollow card rather than a Cosmo hollow from the Mimikyu EX box. Then got Houndstone there. Mankey, Primate, and Annihilate. Another non hollow exclusive. That one came out of the Lucario EX deck. Um, he's going to have a EX box as well. So there is an Annihilate EX box coming out uh, in a few weeks time. That's going to feature a bigger, feature the Annihilate um, EX card. And then versions of, I think, Mankin Primate are going to be in there as well. But it's going to be the first box without a Jumbo. Um, so it's gonna getting rid of the Jumbo for that box. And just having the Annihilate EX normal size card in it. Quite cool. I don't really know what to do with my jumbos. We just put them on the wall at Atomic. But yeah, there's a non holo exclusive that came from the Lucario Xbox. And got Meditite, Medicham, Ryolu, Ryolu again, and then the normal Lucario there. Got Sandile, Crocorock, Crocodile, or Lucha, Silly Cobra, Sandaconda. Stonejourner and Cloth. We've got a Great Tusk EX. Coridon. Again, a non hollow version of Coridon there, which has come out of the Lucario EX deck. And a Coridon EX down here in the corner. Then we go on to our dark types. We're starting with Grimer, Muck, Surviper, Spiritomb, Krogunk, and a Toxicroak EX there. Pawniard, Bisharp, King Gambit, Mashif, Mashif again, being a new Pokemon, he gets a couple of goes, Mavo Stiff, and then a Bombardier. Fortress, Varum, Varum again, and a Revavroom, and that is a non hollow Revavroom that came from the build and battle boxes. Iron Treads, Chansey, Blissey, couple of Zangoose. Starly, Staravia, and Staroraptor goes in there. Now, for all I have said about the getting rid of the yellow borders, and as much as I like it and like the grey borders on the super rare cards, when you get to a page like this, the grey borders do make it look kind of boring. Um, you need a bit more colour, especially when we've got Pokemon like Lechonk, who is very dark. Um, Tandem House has no colour on it at all. So yeah, this page... I don't know how well the yellow borders, if the yellow borders would have made it look much better. But a couple of these pages near the back of this book where it is the metal, the colourless or even the trainers. They do look quite bland and quite boring. Um, but we still have some quite cool cards on here. So on this page you've started with Squavet and Greedent. The Greedent one's very nice. And indeedy. You've then got the Lechonks. So Lechonk there is three different Lechonk cards. With the variants of the six. There is also a lot of stamped Lechonk cards. So ones with Scarlet and Violet. There's one with GameStop stamped on it. There's one with Pokemon Center stamped on it. So there's quite a few of them. I don't keep them with this main set. I keep them separately because um, I don't think they go in here. I like to keep these without the stamped ones in the sets. Just the normal, normal cards. And the stamps are like a little bonus. Same as what we do with the promo cards. I put the promo cards into a separate promo binder so i've got now a scarlet and violet promo binder going on and um, which is now we finished the first page on that from all the promo cards we've had so far but yeah lots of the chunks but none of the stamped versions are in here we then got oinkalong and we've got the oinkalong ex tandem mouse gets a couple of cards and mouse hold down there and squawkabilly there at the end of that page cyclers are and then a rare Cyclozar. So this Cyclozar over here is an uncommon, I believe. Yeah, uncommon. This Cyclozar is rare. So that one came out of the packs. That one was in the 
Oh, it was in one of the decks. It was the Coridon deck, I believe. It was in the Coridon or Maridon, uh, not Coridon, Lucario EX deck. Um, I'm pretty sure it was in that, the Lucario EX deck. And then you got Flamigo there at the end. I then, like when you've watched most of our uh, videos, we like to leave a little page there. So if there are any more exclusives get added later, we don't have to move up everything. And it also means that the trainers kind of go in their place. We then get one, 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 like we do on here. And it looks a bit better with the trainers. So these are all the trainers that we've got. We've got Arvin, Beach Court, Crushing Hammer, Defiance Band, Electric Generator, and Energy Retrieval. Now, Energy Retrieval is a common trainer, so there are some common trainers in here as well, which is really cool. Helps people build up their trainers ready after the new rotation comes along. Now, again, like I said before, this is another page that actually I'm not too excited by because there's a lot of grey on here. An awful lot of grey. But we've got Energy Search, Energy Switch, Experience Share, Jack, Judge, Katie, Mezagoza, Miriam, Numona, who is our like uh, our sidekick, our rival from the um from the video games, Nestball, Pow Pad, Penny, another one of the friends we meet in the game, Picnic Basket, Pokeball, Poke Gear, Pokemon Catcher, Potion. And we've got Professor's Research. So Professor's Research here, there's two different types. There's a Sada and a Turo. They're the, the um, Professor from the Scarlet video game, Professor from the Violet video game. And at the moment, Professor Sada has got a non hollow variant that came out of the build and battle boxes. Now, apparently, Professor Turo has also got a non hollow version that came out of one of the build and battle boxes. However, we have not seen one. We've opened up every deck from the build and battle boxes. We haven't been able to find it. No one who has bought one in Atomic and no one from other places that we know. We can't actually find one. Um, but apparently he is in there somewhere. I don't know. But if you have seen it and know where we can get it from, do uh, leave a comment down below so I can uh, go and get hold of it. But yeah, there should be somewhere a Professor Turo non hollow version, which we might find at some point to go in there. There's then we're a Candy, Rock Chest Plate, Rocky Helmet, Switch, and then we've only got one Team Star Grunt on here, which is why I would quite like that other Professor Turo to kind of pad it out. And I did think about just leaving a gap until he turns up, but I've left it like that because when you turn over, you can see there's not actually that much I'm going to have to move. We've got Team Star Grunt, Reverse Hollow there. Ultra Ball, Vitality Band, and Youngster there. So there's not that much I have to move when and if he does arrive. Now you'll see we've then left the rest of that page. We've then gone on to these. These are the Illustrator Res. So in Scarlet and Violet, we have gotten rid of rainbows. There's no more rainbows in Scarlet and Violet. Instead, we've got these Illustrator Res, and then there is some super rare Illustrator Res as well. So these ones, if you can just see in the corner here, these are the standard ones. These have got one gold star. So the gold star rares can come in one of your reverse hollow slots. So it is possible to get double hit packs again, like it was in the sets with the galleries in. So we'll go through these ones. And these are some of my favorite cards. And when we get to the next couple of pages, you'll see the pages look incredible when they're full of all these illustrator rares. And these are where I think the grey borders really work because you don't get distracted by the bright yellow from the picture. Everything is looking at the artwork on the card. So you've got Tarantula. Now Tarantula does, as you see here, go up to the top. There is a Spidops EX card uh, later on that goes on the top of there and it matches up. Now I know some people have put it that way in their binders, but because I'm going in number order... He's there without that one on the top. We've then got Dolive, Toad School, Scovelum, Armorage, and Slowpoke. Slowpoke is one of my favourites. It looks so cute. I really like the artwork on there. We've got Clauncher, Wiglet, Dondozo, Pachirisu, another really cute one. Pormot, and the Drowsy down here. The art on that Drowsy is incredible. And then let's go on to this page. Now this page, this is what I mean by the illustrators and the full art look really, really good together on the one page. Such a good looking page. You open your binder up and go, wow, that does look really, really nice. 
the reasons we collect really to see cards that look like this. So we start off this page with Routes and Curlia. And again, there is a God of War EX. So this is a storyline. You can see Routes is then Young Routes. You've then got Curlia when the lady's having her child. And then the God of War fits on the end of the story. I know, again, some people who just collecting specific cards have put those together. Whereas I've kept them in number order. Then got Fido. Lovely card. Bit weird that Fido is looking at all the bread in there. Are they his cousin? You know, what's going on here? But it's a cool card. Grievard, Rylu, Sandile, Cloth and Mabostef, Bombardier, King Gambit, very cute looking Starly, and another very cute Squavet. So that there is then the end of our single gold star Illustrator Res, which is very nice that it ends on the page. There is 24 of them. 24? Yeah, 24 of those. So it does end on a nice page, but that is quite a few to try and collect. We've then got the full art cards. So you've got Spit Ops EX here, and then you've got the two terrestrialized Pokemon there. You've got the Arcanine and the Gyarados. And you can see that these cards have got the double silver stars. Let's see if I can bring this up a little bit closer. So these have got double silver stars on them for the rarity just there. So the Silver Star Rares appear in the Rare slot in your pack. So in your pack, you'll get two Reverse Hollows and you'll get one Rare. One of your Reverse Hollows can be a Gold Star. The Rare card can be a Rare card or it can be a Silver Star Rare. So it is possible to get one of these and one of these in the same pack. You've got Spit Ops, Arcanine and Gyarados. You've got a Magnazone X. Maride on EX down here, see so a legendary, very cool on that pink background. God of War EX, a very popular card. Burnett, Great Tusk, the Coridon, Toxicroak, Iron Treads, and Oinkalong down there as well. Now, this next page is obviously the favourite page in the whole binder. This is the final page, and that is just a beautiful page. That is one of the reasons we collect these cards, just to see a page that looks like that. And I'm so happy that it's got these Illustrator Rare cards in instead of rainbows. Um, you don't get as much detail in a rainbow card. These are so much better, I think, having the Illustrator cards rather than the rainbows. So you've got your full art trainers again. And you start with Arvin, Jack, Katie, Miriam, Penny, and then your two professors, Team Star Grunt at the end there. You've then got this Spit Ops EX, and that's what I was talking about, about the other one from the Tarantula. So you can see the Cypher's legs just there, and the Tarantula card would go underneath. You've then got some really cool artwork on the Maridon card. So Maridon EX, with that little dash bun down there. God of War as well, really cool, and this is the end of that story. So that's as they're growing up more, the end of that family, the three cards in a row. And I do quite like those story cards. I'm not so keen on the fact that it's here rather than up there. But these are the rarer cards. So these are two gold stars, the EX illustrators, rather than the one gold star for the normal illustrators. And these ones are textured, whereas a normal illustrator rare isn't. You've got Great Tusky X. Another beautiful piece of artwork from Coride on EX. Iron Treads EX. And then we've got some more trainers, and these are alternate versions of the normal trainers. So you'll see on these, these are basically a, just a big trainer stat there. These ones are the trainers interacting how they do in the games. So Arvin making his sandwiches. Jack having, having a nap at his desk. Nurse Miriam here. Now this is the, uh, the rarest card, not the rarest card, the most expensive, the most sought after card in the set at the moment. Um, it has been all the way from the start. And it is a cool card. Um, I do think I like some of the Pokemon ones a bit more. Um, but yeah, it's a very cool card. And that is, that is the one that people are looking for at the moment. We've then got Penny there. And then we've got our final six gold cards. So of course you've got the two legendaries. You've got Coridon and you've got Maridon. Then you've got a Nest Ball and a Rare Candy. Rare Candy, we got five, six of those Rare Candies now. So many rare candies 
Um, they're not really that rare, but yeah, loads of them. And then the two golden energies at the end. And that brings us right to the end of the book. So you've got the last page over there. I've put the energy cards in on the last page. But you see that this page does fit rather well with that gold energy in the corner and gives us that really, really beautiful page. So hopefully that's, got, that's shown you guys um, the Scarlet and Violet set, giving you some inspiration for what to do with yours. And hopefully got you excited for Paldea Evolved, which is coming next week. So thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon on another video. Have a great day.